Good morning, everybody. I'm Ken Kalanada, your golf course superintendent, and this is Monday, May 8th, 2023. The team and I hope that you love the golf course this season and you continue to enjoy the course throughout the summer months ahead. Now, with only nine rain events since January 1st, we are still under drought conditions according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association. That's four and a half inches below normal year-to-date rainfall. Now the team is working really hard to alleviate these drought conditions with daily hand watering and soil amendments. However, nothing beats a natural flush from mother nature. Thankfully, we just had a half inch the other night and we're gonna see some more activity here in the weeks ahead. Now I'm very happy to announce that hole number nine bridge is approved for a complete rebuild this summer. Now the entire bridge run leaving hole number nine all the way over the river and meeting the path behind hole number 18 will be complete. Now this includes composite wear decking finish exactly like hole number three bridge. Now hole number nine project will begin the day after Memorial Day, which is our first weekly summer closure. Number nine will be closed for the duration of the bridge project, which is estimated to take between nine and 10 weeks. And we'll give you more details on that in the weeks to come. Now the golf course will be closed for 43 days this summer, which includes our four weekly summer closures. Now compared to other 18 hole courses in the area, we are actually closed for fewer days to perform the necessary top dressing, nematode, verticutting, and aeration applications out here on the golf course. Remember that those four week closures are what allow the golf course to be in spectacular shape for the other 48 weeks of the year. All contractors have been scheduled in the following months ahead, and you can look at that detail on the agronomic calendar, which is posted in both the men's women's locker room, as well as on the Call Your Weekly page. I also want to report that all of the irrigation boxes following the hurricane have come in and are now officially installed. Let's take a look at these upgrades. Now here we have the new controller boxes out here on the golf course, which give us complete control over our irrigation system and talk to our computer at our main headquarters. The Toro company has done a fantastic job at updating the technology within these boxes. And I'll just go over a couple of those right here. All of the internal components are now held within housings to protect them from rain, flooding, and debris. All of the previous components have been upgraded to a stainless steel material. All of these switches are stainless steel. All of the boxes have a strong seal on the outside. We have a complete locking me mechanism up top. Also, all of these internal components have been sprayed and sealed with a rust-proof film. Now with all these improvements from Toro, as well as our proactive planning, we feel that we're setting ourselves up for the best case scenario to protect our investment in case of future heavy storm rain events. Now you may have noticed some patchwork on some greens. This is us replacing any thin or worn turf due to traffic, shade, and other stresses during season. And we are also scouting the greens for any contamination from our Bimini Bermuda grass that might have made its way through seed onto our Tiff Eagle greens. So by plugging out any thin areas and also removing this contamination, we make sure that we have clean, healthy greens going into our 2023 aeration season. Now on behalf of the entire golf course maintenance staff, thank you so much for all your support over the last year. It's been a wild ride, but we've made it. The golf course is in great shape. We're really excited for the days ahead, excited for the summer ahead, and couldn't do it without all your support. So thank you so much. We'll keep you updated on these improvements here in the next couple weeks ahead and throughout the summer.